Hello ladies and gentlemen, security before here bringing you another Minecraft World War II BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the USS Pennsylvania BB-38. USS Pennsylvania was the lead ship of the Pennsylvania class of super dreadnought battleships built for the United States Navy in the 1910s. The Pennsylvanias were part of the standard type battleship series and marked as an inc incremental improvement over the preceding Nevada class carrying an extra pair of 14 inch guns for a total of 12 guns. The ship was uh, launched in March of 1915 and was commissioned in June 1916. The ship uh, was not sent to European waters during World War I and instead, uh, due to lack of uh, fuel and resources for the ship itself, uh, instead patrolled American waters and took part in training exercises. Uh, later on, she was uh, basically designated the lead ship or the flagship of the uh, First Atlantic Fleet and later on was merged over uh, to the Pacific Fleet in 1921. She was based in San Pedro and was a uh, later on moved to uh, be stationed in Pearl Harbor. Uh, she was present for the attack on Pearl Harbor December 7th, 1941 and received very minor damage since she was in dry dock. Uh, she was kind of protected from torpedoes and uh, was kind of hidden away from uh, Battleship Row and out of sight uh, from bombings and all that stuff. So she was uh, relatively okay and survived the attack just fine. Uh, later on, she was upgraded, receiving more anti-aircraft uh, weapons and also better secondaries, uh, equipping dual 5-inch guns and stuff like that, um, and turrets, and just basically overall improvements to, prove, improvements to modernize the ship. And as you can see here, we have the 1944 version, which is pretty much a late war version. The story of the Pennsylvania comes to an end when she was, later on after the war, towed, or basically repaired, very uh, minorly after receiving some damage from uh, battles near the end of World War II, uh, just to make the voyage to Bikini Atoll. She was uh, used as a test, uh, probably basically a target uh, for nuclear bombs, survived two nuclear bombs, was uh, studied for her not sinking after getting hit by two bombs, and was later on um, basically sunk in the Bikini Atoll uh, in deep water. So a uh, really kind of sad end to a story of a ship that saw a lot of service and was around for quite a long time uh, throughout many throughout World War One and World War Two. So she definitely has a lot of story to tell, and unfortunately, her story came to a pretty sad end, being a uh, nuclear bomb test dummy. So a really interesting ship. Um, it's basically you can kind of see a resemblance to the USS Arizona, USS Arizona being a Pennsylvania class um, battleship as well. So they both kind of share a lot of similarities to it. This is the more modernized version of what the Arizona probably could have been. Um, so yeah, really awesome ship. Uh, came out really cool and uh, look forward to getting in their battleship out for you guys to enjoy and um, all that fun stuff. Anyways, before we go and take a look at the ship itself, I want to go and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Trench Fighter 8 for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go ahead and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn a view core request if you're choosing in doing so. Uh, helps me out big time and it's much appreciated, so if you are interested, you know, feel free to check it out. Again, link is down in the description. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, dive into taking a look at the ship and obviously going over all the cool features about it and all that fun stuff. Starting off with, we have obviously the bow of the ship up here, nothing too fancy, just got your anchors system and all that kind of stuff up here. Again, nothing real fancy up here. As we work our way back, we have turret 1 and 2, and uh, these are 14 inch guns, 360 millimeters, so very large guns, obviously. Um, this uh, version of the ship has lots of AA batteries, so lots of like levers around here and there for uh, representing the aircraft batteries, um, but you also have... Um, but you also have like all these little platforms here where you would have 20 millimeter guns and all that kind of stuff positioned up. So lots of defensive positions or a lot of A positions and um, all that. Uh, up here we got the conning tower, so the bridge, all that fun stuff, and the mast here. Working our way back we have our secondaries all located in here along with a few A guns positions that would be scattered about in between. Again, coming back here we have a section where the uh, second mast used to be but it was cut down pretty much to nothing and rebuilt this small structure here which gives some more AA housing and um, has, uh, I believe, radar um, on it of something of that sort. As we come back, we have turret uh, 3 and 4, and again, turret 3, lots of AA gun positions and stuff like that on it. And then back here, we have the seaplane launcher, um, like down the back. So overall, really nice looking ship. Uh, came out really nice and uh, looks absolutely amazing. Uh, will be a nice ship to obviously add to any of your later war uh, fleets and stuff like that, 1944 and onwards, as this is the 1944 version. Or if you want to have a test ship for a nuclear bomb you want to drop on your Minecraft world, who knows? 
uh, this ship will be there and be a good, uh, you know, uh, model to have in it. Anyways, uh, that's going to do it for this uh, overview. Let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we're going ahead and beginning with layer number one. For layer one, to go ahead and get started with here, uh, we have obviously the uh, half the ship already built. If you guys are new to my BAFTA build tutorials, like the way I, the way I like to structure these is the first few layers, um, since it's the completely same thing on both sides. All that stuff, there's not a lot of detail. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I like to do basically half on camera, half off. What this means is I'm going to build the center line of the ship, and then I'm going to basically uh, build uh, one half of the ship, and then you're just going to go and copy what we do on the one side over to the other side, and you'll have your ship all done and complete. Um, it's pretty simple, and once we do once we do the first few layers and stuff, it'll be pretty understandable and pretty easy to you know grasp and go with it. Um, so pretty simple there. Um, one thing we also need to make sure is that we have the correct... Um, position of the ship. Now the ship here, this layer one, sits one block underneath the water. So as you can see here, this uh, row of uh, light blue wool here represents the water level. So this needs to be a block underwater, um, as you can see here, and not at the surface. So make sure that this is correct. If not, then your ship is going to sit too high or too low in the water. So very important. Anyways, for us to go and begin with, we're going to be placing down a row of red concrete. And this row right here is going to be pretty long, coming at a total of 34 blocks long in length here. And that's going to be the very center line of the ship. Once we have that done, we're going to have a brick upside down stair. We're going to go ahead and skip a space, place down a brick top slab, and then two red concrete blocks like that. We can then uh, delete any place or blocks here, and we should have our center row that goes that's going to go down the center of the ship all the way like that. Once that's done, we're going to go to the sides now, and we're going to go ahead and basically build off of these. So going to the uh, third red concrete block back, we're going to place down a brick upside down stair. Followed by an upside down stair coming off of it, so the stair turns into a corner stair, then we have a regular stair after that. We're going to gonna take red concrete, go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25, 26, 27, and 28 red concrete blocks back. Once that's done, we're going to be placing down a brick stair, followed by a second one after it, like so. Once that's done, we'll be placing down an end rod, and after that end rod, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a birchwood slab and place down a birchwood slab like that coming off the end rod. Uh, once that's all finished, we have our first, uh, you know, propeller and propeller tube or shaft done, and let's go ahead and go back up to the front and continue working our way out to the side. So going from this row now, we are going to go ahead and count back to our fourth red concrete block back. We're going to place down a brick upside down stair coming off of it. After that, we're going to be placing down a second brick upside down stair coming off. So this is a corner stair. We have a regular stair. And then we're going to take red concrete and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 red concrete blocks back. Followed by a brick upside down stair and brick corner stair coming off of it. We then want to place down 1, 2, and uh, just 2 end rods, followed by a birch slab like this. One thing I forgot to mention is that um, if you are placing this in water, which the majority of you guys probably will be, uh, these end rods will not work underwater, so you will probably have to substitute these out for fence gates. Um, that's pretty much your only real option there. But uh, if you do have this out of water, end rods obviously are the uh, definite way to go. Uh, but just wanted to throw that in there for any of you guys wondering and um, you know trying to get those end rods to work, but they wouldn't work underwater. Anyways, continuing on, we're going to go ahead and go to the front here again. We're going to go ahead and count back, 1, 2, 3, 4, go to our 5th red concrete block here, and we're going to place down a brick up sound stair, followed by a brick up sound stair coming off it, so you have a corner stair, regular stair, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 red concrete blocks back, again 2 brick up sound stairs, and there brick up sound corner stair. Once you have that done, you're going to be taking the same design and flip it over to the other side, so you should have something that looks just like this done for layer number 1. With that all complete, that is going to wrap up this layer. With that, we can go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer two. For layer two to begin with, we'll be going ahead and placing down a red concrete block on top of this one, and this is going to be a long row of red concrete going all the way back. Um, in total, this is going to be a row of 38, so starting off with this red concrete block up here, counting all the way back here, we're going to end with our 38th red concrete block on top of this one right here. After that, we're just going to place down a brick up and stair coming off of it, and you should get something that looks like this on the back here, like so. Once that's all finished, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front, and we're going to work our way out to the sides now. We're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a brick stair coming off of both sides of this red concrete block and an upside down stair um, of brick. 
We then want to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 red concrete blocks back, followed by a brick upside down stair. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here. We're going to go ahead and count 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, back to our fifth red concrete block, and again a brick upside down stair coming off of it. From that brick upside down stair, we're going to go ahead and count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 red concrete blocks back and another upside down brick stair like that to wrap it up on the end there. Uh, again, going out to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and go to the side. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and back to our fifth red concrete block here. We're going to place down a brick upside down stair coming off of it, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Red concrete blocks back, followed by a brick upside down stair and brick upside down corner stair. With that all complete, uh, you're going to go and take that same design over there on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and you'll have something that looks just like this from up above here um, for the hull like that of the ship. Uh, just to kind of go ahead and make sure we are on the right page for making sure that this thing is in the correct position in the water. The water level should be at this point right here, and you should be able to see the whole top of this layer um, sticking a little bit above the water. Um, so it should be level with the water, and the top here should be sticking up above it. Anyways, once that's all uh, complete there, that is going to wrap up layer number two. Let's go ahead and move into layer number three. All right, guys, moved into our next layer. We have layer three. Layer three is going to be the last layer. We're going to be doing half on, half off before we start to get into uh, basically a lot of the detailing and stuff like that, the superstructure and all that that we need to create. So uh, this will be the last layer we're doing half on, half off. Um, but yeah, with that, let's go ahead and get started. To start off with, on top of this red concrete block in the front, we're going to place down a stone block followed by a stone brick uh, wall coming off of it toward the front. We then want to go ahead and go back from the stone block, one, two, three, and four blocks. So basically in total you have a row of four here coming off this stone brick wall. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a long row of gray wool. That's going to be going back a total of 33 blocks back to this point here. On the back, we're going to place down a stone block and then a stone brick stair. With that done, going back up to the front, we're going to start working our way out to the side now. On these four stone blocks, we're going to be placing down four stone brick walls along the side there. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, and four uh, stone blocks back, and then a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five gray concrete or uh, gray wool blocks back, followed by one, two, and three stone blocks, and then one and two stone brick stairs or stone brick walls back. With that done, going back up to the front. We're going to go ahead and go to the uh, third block here. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick wall to the side and one more back. We then want to place down one, two, three, four, five stone blocks back. From this point here, we're going to take our gray wool, go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, uh, fifteen, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Gray wool blocks back, followed by one, two, three stone blocks, and then one and two stone brick walls. Again, going up to the front, we're going to go ahead and continue to work our way back. We have this row of five of stone blocks. We're going to go ahead and go to the last three and place down stone brick walls along the side there. Come off those stone brick walls, we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Or sorry, my bad, thirteen stone blocks. And then we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, and four stone brick walls back, just like that. Once that's all done, we're going to be going ahead and grabbing ourselves some wooden signs. We're going to go ahead and start off on the back here with these two stone blocks, place down two wooden signs, and then on these two stone brick walls. We're going to go ahead and run this along these stone blocks all the way along the side here. So again, it's going to take a little bit while, but this is going to be showing the kind of torpedo bulge, uh, the torpedo rack there on the side. And once that's, or the tor torpedo bell is what I'm looking for, there we go. And then we're going to have three located right there. And that right there will pretty much cover that, and you have your torpedo belt uh, around here, and obviously it's going to have the same thing on the air side. So basically from uh, looking at down, looking at from up above down, we should have something that looks just like this to go ahead and wrap up layer um, number uh, three. Anyway, so that right there is going to complete layer number three. With that, let's move on to our next layer, layer number four. All right, guys, move on to our next layer. We have layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and begin with, we're going to be placing down a stone block here on top of this stone block 
right or on top of this stone brick wall. Coming off of it, we're going to be placing down a stone brick upside down stair, followed by a skeleton skull to both sides of that stone brick upside down stair. We then want to place down a stone brick uh, wall on both sides of the stone block, and then after that, we're going to place down a um, stone block here in the middle. To both sides of this, we're going to be placing down an anvil on top of these um, stone brick walls. And once that's complete there, we're going to be placing down a gray wool block after it, followed by a cobblestone, or sorry, a stone brick wall on both sides. And also on the side of these anvils, we want to go ahead and just place down a wooden sign, like so. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of one and two of gray wool blocks in the middle, followed by a stone brick stair, like this, and then a stone brick corner stair. Same thing over here on this side, stone brick stair, stone brick corner stair. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our stone blocks, and we're going to go ahead and run a row of one, two, and three blocks back. Same thing over here, one, two, and three. And in the center here, we want to place down one, two, and three uh, gray wool blocks like that. When that's done there, uh, go into the sides, we're going to place down one and two stone brick stairs. And same thing over here, one and two stone brick stairs with a row of three of gray wool directly behind it. Once that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and take our stone blocks and we're going to go and place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five. And uh, actually six stone blocks back like this. We're going to go and do the same thing over here. And from this point here, we're going to then fill in the space in between with three rows of six of gray wool. So just kind of filling that whole space in like so. Uh, then going to the sides here, we're going to place down one, two, and three stone brick walls. Same thing over here, one, two, and three. Uh, after that, we're going to go and take some stone blocks. We're going to place down one and two stone blocks here, both sides, and in the space in between, two rows of five of gray wool. After that's done, we're going to take our stone brick walls, go back one, two, and three. Over here, same thing, one, two, and three on the sides here. And again, in the space in between them, we're going to place down three rows of five here of gray wool like that. After that, we're going to take our stone, place down a row of two of stone on both sides here, row of two rows of five of gray wool in between. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a, another row of five of gray wool across, followed by a stone brick wall on both ends. With that, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, just trying to get a double check here to see what it is. Uh, we have a row of three of stone blocks, followed by a cobble or stone brick wall on both sides, and then a stone brick stair on the far sides like that. Once that's done, coming off the stone brick walls, we're going to place down one stone brick wall going toward the back, and then we're going to go ahead and go over one like this on both sides. Uh, in the space in the middle here, we'll be placing down a stone block, and after that, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three stone brick walls that go across like that. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some levers, and we're going to be placing down levers here on these uh, gray wool blocks here and have them flicked in toward those stone brick walls. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone comparator, and on this gray wool block here in the middle, we're going to place down a redstone comparator like that. We then want to go ahead and go to both sides of it, place down a stone brick, or sorry, my bad, on both sides of it, we're actually going to be placing down a quartz slab. So. And place down one and two quartz slabs, one and two. Uh, when that's done, we're going to go to the side here of these, place down a stone brick wall. And then we want to go ahead and go in the middle in between these quartz slabs, place down a stone brick wall, followed by a stone block and a second stone block going toward the back. On the side here of these stone blocks, we're going to place down two stone brick walls on both sides. And we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a iron trap door and place down an iron trap door here on this gray wool block. On uh, the three sides that we can around this um, around this iron trap door, we're going to place down wooden signs around it, like so. And same thing over here for a AA gun position. So just like this, wrapped around. With uh, that done, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves gray carpet, and we're going to place down one, two, three, and four gray carpet along the side here. Same thing over here, one, two, three, and four. With that finished, uh, going ahead and coming back to this section here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick upside down stair, coming off this stone block, and then a stone brick upside down uh, stair coming off of this to both sides. It's actually going to be a corner stair, so upside down corner stair here on both sides. And then coming off of the sides of the corner stairs, we're going to be placing down a skeleton skull like this to both sides. After that, we're going to place down a stone block in the middle here, followed by a stone brick stair on both sides of it. Stone brick stair coming off this stone block toward the back, and a skeleton skull on both sides of this stone brick stair. 
We then want to grab ourselves end rods and we're going to place down a row of one and two, one and two, one and two for the barrels here for turret number four on the back. Now in this section here, we're going to go ahead and go to this. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three gray carpet and same thing over here, one, two, and three. Go ahead and move into this back section here for the catapult. Uh, we want to go ahead and place down a row three of gray wool. And we're then going to go ahead and take our daylight centers, place down a row of three, uh, or sorry, a row of five, and then we're going to go ahead and turn them to the night mode. If you are interested in putting the seaplane on the ship, um, we can you can do that. Uh, to do this very simply, uh, to kind of copy what we have over here, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate in the spot right here where this daylight sensor is like that for the seaplane to launch onto. But if you don't want to put the seaplane, you'll just have five daylight sensors across. Uh, with that done, we're going to then place down a uh, stone brick wall on top of this stone block here on the end. We're going to go and place down iron trap doors coming off of the sides here and also on the back here. Uh, we then want to go ahead and take our uh, signs and item frames. We're going to go ahead and take signs and wrap them around these two sides of this iron trap door right here and then an item frame right here and then one signs around the three sides of the iron trap door here. Item frame, wooden signs, let that wrap around there for uh, a gun positions on the rear. Once you have that all complete, that is going to wrap up layer number four for the build. As you can see, you start to have a lot of the de deck details on the back here going on, and uh, you start to kind of get a look and see at the superstructure and all that fun stuff. Anyways, that right there is going to complete layer four. Let's move on to layer number five. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to the front up here. We're going to place down a end rod like this on the front. We then want to place down a gray carpet that is going to go back from it. So grab one right here and we're going to place down a gray carpet right here. After that, we're going to place down a redstone repeater with the notches out to the sides. Uh, we're going to go ahead and follow it up with placing down redstone dust after that, like this back and then another redstone repeater like so. We then want to place down a redstone comparator and that right there will kind of do it for the anchor mechanism like that. We're going to go ahead and skip two spaces, place down a stone brick stair here in the middle. And we then want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull on both sides of this stone brick stair. Now coming off the skeleton skulls and stone brick stair itself, we're going to be going ahead and taking the uh, end rods right here. And we're going to go ahead and basically be building off of these. So we're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. Just like we did for the turret four in the back. We then want to place down a stone block, followed by a stone brick stair to both sides. Stone brick upside down stair on the back here. And a corner stair coming off both sides of that stone brick upside down stair. With that done, we're going to place down another stone block here, followed by a second one back, and then we're going to place down two stone brick walls to both sides. Uh, we then want to place down a skeleton skull, coming off the stone brick ups downstairs, again both sides like this, and we're going to go ahead and place down a gray carpet here on both sides next to this first stone brick wall. After that, we're going to place down a lever, have it flicked out to the sides here for a A gun position, so just like that. Or we then want to go ahead and take our stone blocks and place down a row of three across. Fall by a lever again on both sides and make sure that they are facing the correct direction like that. Once uh, that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three of gray wool across the middle here, fall by a stone brick wall to both sides and we're going to go do the same thing again. So another row of three, another stone brick wall to both sides like that. Now once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a iron trap door and also some wooden signs. We're going to be going ahead and building their A gun position by going to this section here, placing down an iron trap door and taking signs and wrapping them around the iron trap door like so. Same thing over here. Just like this. All right, and just like that. When that's all done, we're going to go ahead and then take our stone blocks and uh, we're going to go ahead and actually we're going to use gray wool. We're going to take gray wool, place down a row of three across, followed by again another cobbles, or stone brick wall to both sides. We then want to place down an iron trap door to the side here and then a wooden sign. Same thing over here. Just like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of, or basically a stone block here to both sides and then a row of three of gray wool across the middle. Another iron trap door to the side and another wooden sign. Same thing over here. Another iron trap door. Another wooden sign on the side here like that. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and take our stone brick stairs and along the sides here, we're going to be going ahead and running a row of one, two, and three. 
of stone brick stairs and same thing over here one two and three in the spaces in between we're going to place down three rows of five of gray wool going across filling in the middle space like so once that's done uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three of gray wool across followed by a stone block to both sides and then we're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door with a wooden sign coming off of it like before same thing over here just like that once uh, that's finished there we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, another row of three of gray wool across the middle here and there's stone brick wall here to both sides iron trap door and wooden sign coming off of it like so again same thing over here like that after that's all done we're gonna go ahead and then place down a stone block here in the middle uh, or sorry my bad it's actually gonna be a row of three of gray wool again followed by another stone brick wall to both sides here and then we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a skeleton skull and place down a skeleton skull in this section at about a 45 degree angle so just like this on both sides Coming back to this section, we're going to place down a stone block here in the middle, followed by a uh, stone brick wall to both sides, and then we're going to place down a second stone wall going uh, toward the back here, and another uh, stone brick wall here on both sides. We then want to go ahead and place down an iron trap door right here on top of this stone brick wall here. We're going to take wooden signs and wrap it around it. Same thing over here. Once we have that all done, we're going to go ahead and then actually uh, delete this one sign here in this place we're going to place it on a cobblestone wall. Same thing over here, just like that. Uh, when that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and go back to these two stone brick walls that stick up right here. We're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of them. And then for this turret here, we're going to go ahead and build turret number two. So for this on top of the stone brick wall here, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair. Stone brick upside down stair to both sides, like so. Uh, stone block in the middle, a stone brick stair to the sides. And then we want to place down a stone brick stair up here in the front. Skeleton skulls on both sides of the stair. And then just taking uh, some end rods, placing down one, two, one, two, and one, two. Also on the back of the turret, we don't want to forget putting down a skeleton skull coming off of these stone brick corner stairs like that on the ends. Uh, with that done, we're going to go ahead and go back to our crane back here on top of this stone brick wall. We're going to place down a stone brick stair. And then coming off the back of the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a iron trap door. From this point here, if you do want to go ahead and build the plane, uh, we're going to go ahead and kind of work on this here and kind of get the plane started. So for this, we're going to be using uh, prepare stairs and slabs. We're going to place down a prepare slab on top of this fence gate here, followed by a prepare stair coming off of the prepare slab toward the back. And then come off of it toward the front, we're going to place down a um, skeleton skull like that. We then want to place down a blue carpet coming off of the slab like this to both sides and that's what we'll be able to accomplish in this layer and we'll add up on it when we move up our next few layers. Anyways that right there is going to wrap up layer number uh, five and with that let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number six. Alright guys moved on to our next layer we have layer number six. For layer six to begin with we'll be going ahead and placing down a stone brick stair on top of this stone block followed by a skeleton skull coming off both sides of this stone brick stair. After that's done we're going to place down an additional stone brick stair back followed by a stone brick stair to both sides here, and then we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair coming off the back of the stair, followed by a stone brick corner stair here to both sides, and like we've been doing for the past three turrets, a skeleton skull coming off of these corner stairs like that to both sides. Uh, going ahead and going toward the front, we're going to take our end rods, we're going to place down one and two, going toward the front, one, two, one, and two, just like that. After that's all done, uh, going ahead and moving into the conning tower, we're going to place down a stone block here in the center, and we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a iron trap door and place it down on top of this stone brick wall right here. Now around the sides here of the stone for the iron trap doors, we're going to take wooden signs and wrap them around. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves item frames and place down item frames. Also wrap them around like so. So same thing like this on both sides. Once uh, that's all done, we're going to place down a narrow stone block in the middle here going back, followed by a stone brick wall to both sides. With that done, we're going to go ahead and place down another stone block here in the middle, followed by again another stone brick wall to both sides, and then a stone brick stair like this to both sides. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate, place down a dark oak wood fence gate, come off the front of the stair like so. We then want to take our stone blocks, we're going to place down a row of three across, followed by a stone brick wall, stone brick wall, 
Uh, we're going to go and then take our stone blocks, place down one, two, three, four across, a stone brick wall to both sides. After that, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on both sides and come off the front of the stair. We're going to place down a dark oak fence gate and have it opened up toward the front of the stair. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a, another stone block here in the middle, followed by a second one back. We're going to grab our redstone repeaters and place down our redstone repeaters here um, in the corner spaces. So just like this and have the notches just flicked back like so. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a skeleton skull and we're going to place down a skeleton skull on this stone brick stair. Same thing like that on both sides. After that, on this stone brick stair here, we're going to place down another stone brick stair followed by a dark oak fence gate. Opened up, coming off of it for more secondaries. We're going to place down another skeleton skull, this time on top of this stone block here. And again, we want to keep it nice and straight, like so. After that, uh, going ahead and going back on this stone brick wall, we're going to place down a stone brick stair. Dark oak wood fence gate coming off the front of the stair, opened up toward it like that. Then after that, going to this stone brick wall, we're going to place down another stone brick stair, or sorry, another skeleton skull. And in the space in the middle here, we want to go ahead and place down a uh, another brick fence post like this. We also want to go ahead and grab our redstone repeaters and place down a redstone repeater right here with the notches flicked out to the sides. After that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and continue on by placing down a stone block right here after the another brick fence post followed by a stone brick stair coming off of it to both sides. Like this. And then off the front of the stairs, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a wooden sign. Just like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a snare stone block, come off this one, followed by a stone brick wall to both sides. And then come off the stone block here, we're going to be placing down a stone brick stair, and we're going to take wooden signs and wrap signs around the stone brick stair like this. We also want to go ahead and grab iron trap doors and place down an iron trap door on top of this stone brick wall here to both sides, again in their A gun position. And we're going to take wooden signs and, of course, you probably guessed it, wrap it around the iron trap door and an item frame right here on this side. And same thing over here. So just wrap, wrapping it around. Just like that. Uh, so once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back. We have turret number four here. Or sorry, turret three. We're going to place down an iron trap door here, here, and here. On the first iron trap door, we're going to go ahead and wrap wooden signs around these three sides. I mean, actually, it's going to be all four sides. So this side as well. Uh, from this point here, we're going to go ahead and then place down a item frame here on this iron trap door, and same thing right here, and same thing for the other side, like so. And then for the remaining sides around, we're going to go ahead and just take wooden signs and place down wooden signs, so like this, and like that. So you have these uh, turret or these uh, a gun positions on top of the turret. Anyways, going ahead and going back here to our crane to finish this off, we're going to place down a uh, iron trap door on top of it followed by a stone brick slab, which is going to be coming off of the uh, iron trap door. Like that, and then we just want to take blue carpet and place down three blue carpet uh, across the top there to go ahead and complete the seaplane. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer number six. With that, we're going to go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number five, or layer number seven, sorry. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we're going ahead and move on to layer number seven. For layer 7, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and go into turret 2 here, and we're going to be doing the same thing we did to turret 3. So we have these three iron trap doors. We're going to take wooden signs, wrap them around the first iron trap door up here, just like this. We're then going to take some item frames, wrap them around here, here, and here. And then we're going to take oak wood signs and wrap them around the iron trap doors. So again, just like this, and just like that. With that all finished, uh, we're gonna go ahead and then take our stone blocks. We're gonna go ahead and go back one, two, three. We're gonna take a stone or a skeleton skull, place it down on both sides of this stone block, and we actually need to delete this wooden sign. So we're gonna delete that wooden sign and in its place, place down an item frame. So just like this on both sides. And also we're gonna go ahead and go to this stone block, place down an item frame here, and we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a black bed, and we're gonna place down a black bed vertically up like this for one of the uh, windows there on the conning tower. With that done, going ahead and continuing on, we're gonna place down a stone brick um, wall here on both sides with a wooden sign on the side of it. 
Continuing back, we're going to place down a stone brick stair now. Again, wooden sign on the side of it. Going over here, same thing. A wooden sign coming off of it. We then want to place down a row of three of stone blocks across, followed by a skeleton skull to both sides. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, nether brick wall, or a nether brick fence post here on both sides, and then we want to grab ourselves a end rod, and we're going to place down an end rod on top of these uh, stone brick blocks just like this. Uh, once that's done, we're going to take our stone blocks, place down one and two right there on those middle two blocks. We're then going to place down an end rod on those nether brick fence posts, and then back here in this section, another stone block like this, and then we're going to place down a stone brick wall to both sides. And uh, we just want to go and then take an iron trap door and place down an iron trap door on these two stone brick walls. And we're going to go and take wooden signs, rump around these two sides, just like that. And then we want to place down iron frames here on both sides like that to go and complete these AA gun positions. And once that's all complete, that is going to wrap up layer number seven. With that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number eight. <clears throat> Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 8. For layer 8, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a skeleton skull that's going to go ahead and go on top of this stone block, and then to both sides of it, we're going to be placing down an end rod like that to both sides. After that's done, we're going to place down another stone block directly up behind the skeleton skull, followed by an um, item frame, and in the item frame itself, we're going to be placing down a black bed like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down a skeleton skull to both sides of this stone block. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a row of one and two stone blocks back, followed by a stone brick wall on both sides of the first one, and we're going to place down a wooden sign coming off the side of these stone brick walls. We then want to place down a stone brick stair, again, both sides, wooden sign coming off the stair itself. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a iron trap door that is going to go across the middle space here, <clears throat> like this. And then we want to go ahead and just take a uh, stone brick upside down stair and place it down on top of these end rods, just like this. And the space in between here, we're going to be placing down a narrow brick fence post like that to both sides. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down two stone blocks right here on top of those two. And then for this mass back here, we're going to place down another uh, end, rod, end rod going up. And then we're going to place down a end rod like this to both sides. On the top up here, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair on top of that stone block, and then coming off of it, we're going to be placing down some stone brick slabs, so we're going to place down a stone brick top slab, coming off of it to both sides, and then running along the top slab, uh, upside down stair, and the air top slab, we're going to place down three uh, wooden signs there across. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer 8, with that we're going to move into our last final layers, we have layers 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, so with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers, we have 9 through 15. Alright guys, moving into our last final layers, we have layers 9 through 14, or 15, sorry. For these layers, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the top of the tower here. We're going to be placing down a stone brick slab on top of this stone block, and then going back from it, we're going to place down a stone brick stair. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides here, where these stone brick stairs are. We're going to place down a stone brick stair here, followed by a skeleton skull on both sides of the stair, and also on top of it. Same thing over here on this side, top of the stair, to both sides, and on top. You see here, just like that. After that's done, we're going to go and take a our uh, end rods. We're going to place down an end rod that goes up from these narrow brick fence posts. And we're then going, to, then going to place down a second end rod up on both those, and then one on top of that stone brick stair. Uh, in the space in between these we're going to, end rods, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab. And on top of it, we're going to place down a stone brick wall. From this point here, we're going to go take iron trap doors. We're going to place down iron trap doors on top of the end rods. And we're going to go and then take wooden signs and put wooden signs on these iron trap doors. So the first one here, we're going to wrap signs around all three sides that we can. We then uh, want to go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames. We're going to place down an item frame here on this side of the iron trap doors. And then the other uh, two sides, we're going to go and take wooden signs and wrap them around. So just like this. And then uh, going ahead and continuing on, we want to go and then place down a stone block on top of this stone brick wall. We're going to go ahead and take an iron trap door, place it down to both sides. We're going to go ahead and go back at an angle, place down the iron trap door, and then another one back like this. Same thing over here. Like that. Then on top here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair. Wooden trap door on top of the stone brick stair. We're going to open it up like that. 
Come off the back of the stair itself. We're going to be placing down a skeleton skull. End rod up, and then a uh, skeleton skull on the very tip here. Like so. Actually, we're going to go ahead and go one more end rod up. So one more end rod up, and then a skeleton skull on top. It's just like that. After that's all done, uh, for the smokestack here, real simple. Grab our narrow brick slabs, narrow brick full block, narrow brick slab. And lastly on the back here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of this upside down stair. And then end rod that goes up just like that. And once you guys have that all complete, that is going to wrap up my design for uh, the USS Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania class battleship. Uh, the 1944 version. Hope you guys do enjoy the design. Um, came out really good and um, we'll make a nice uh, build for sure. Anyways, uh, again, big special thanks to Patreon supporter Transfighter8. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn a vehicle request that you're choosing. Um, so feel free to check that out. Again, the link is down in the description. Other than that, uh, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys do end up using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be anything from a sign build to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, that's all I ask for doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for your free or favorite projects you guys are working on. Other than that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett204, and I'll see you guys next time.